All right, guys. So the second injury report of Green Bay Packers wild card weekend ahead of this game against the Dallas Cowboys just came out. Now, we had injury updates yesterday, but it was a very light walkthrough practice. But today was the full practice, so it's going to give us a bigger telltale sign of what players will and won't be available for this game on Sunday. And sadly, we do have an unfortunate update regarding Jair Alexander. I mean, the Packers at this point just can't catch a break so stay tuned we're going to dive down into the Packers injury report on here on Thursday as well as the Cowboys injury report if you do happen to be a new viewer here and want more Packers news analysis and updates every single day such as injury reports game analysis and everything of that sort you can find it all here right on this channel and the content does not stop whenever the season stops we'll be diving down into the draft doing a bunch of mock drafts and everything off season uh, such as free agency salary cap and all that so if that does interest you and you're a Packers fan go down and click subscribe all right, so without further ado, let's bring up the injury report. And at the top, you see Jair Alexander, shoulder slash ankle. He was limited in yesterday's walkthrough. And this is why I said yesterday didn't really tell us too much um, other than, you know, it was an estimation of what they would have been if it was a full practice. But we see today did not participate. And that is due to his ankle. Matt LaFleur on Jair Alexander. It was kind of a freak deal yesterday. We had mostly a jog through and he stepped on somebody's foot and rolled his ankle. He's doing everything he can to be available. I'd say it's day to day, man. The Green Bay Packers cannot catch an injury break. Jair Alexander cannot catch a break. They're doing a jog through. And I think most of the practice yesterday, they didn't even have cleats on. They just had sneakers on and they're doing a jog through, just a walk through practice. And Jair ends up stepping on someone's ankle and rolling his ankle. That's just insane. Like, it's not as bad as uh, right before our playoff game of three years ago when Bakhtiari tore his ACL in practice, but man, I feel like the Packers just cannot catch a break. Now, some good news regarding to that. It's not all terrible, right? Jair Alexander didn't come into the locker room, but Matt Schneiderman did see him walking without a boot or a noticeable limp. So it's good that he doesn't have a boot on or seemingly a limp from that rolled ankle. So likely just a slight rolled ankle, but the fact that he didn't practice Practice today isn't good. Uh, you would have liked to see him get limited today. It's going to be a big deal um, if he can practice tomorrow, but I, I would assume they'll take this all the way up till Sunday until game time and make a game time decision if they have to, uh, but it, it, it's not good, right? We're already kind of worried of who's going to cover CeeDee Lamb, and that was when we had Jair ready to play in this game. So at this point, if Jair can't go, we have Ballantyne and Valentine um, and Nixon in the slot, and, and, and to be fair, I don't think any of those can cover CeeDee Lamb, right? Uh, Jair Alexander would have a tough time covering CeeDee Lamb. So it's definitely going to be a problem. Hopefully he can get right and get into this game. Next, we see Devondre Campbell, who played last week, coming back from his neck injury, was a full participant last week. And this week, full yesterday, full today. So no worry for Devondre Campbell. He'll be ready to go for this Sunday's game. A.J. Dillon remains, did not participate still with that neck stinger. I believe that's still the issue that's keeping him out. It's not his thumb. His thumb's already broken, right? Like it's already where it's going to be and it's going to hopefully get better. Uh, but what kept him out of last week's game was that next stinger so he again didn't practice today uh we'll see what happens tomorrow but as i said yesterday aaron jones is doing just fine as running back number one right now romeo dobbs with his chest injury was great to see limited yesterday and also great to see limited here in this full practice today because you know just sunday he was coughing up blood on the sideline so really good to see limited here uh looks like he will be available for this game now elton jenkins was downgraded to a did not participate uh you know in the past weeks we kind of have elton jenkins taking rest Days. But last week, it wasn't that. It was due to his ankle. So I don't know if this is the same thing. His ankle flared up or because it's a full practice, they just don't want to overwork him. If it's simply a rest day, we'll get a better sign of this tomorrow. Nonetheless, Elton Jenkins played through it last game. And in a playoff game like this, I think Elton Jenkins, no matter what, will play. It just depends on how much practice the guy is going to get. Aaron Jones limited yesterday, limited today. Obviously good to go. We need to get another big game out of Aaron Jones. Hopefully another four-touchdown game against the Cowboys, maybe. That would be amazing. Isaiah McDuffie, concussion. Um, limited yesterday, limited today. Probably very close or already has passed concussion protocol. You know, he's been a good depth inside linebacker and would be linebacker three. Um, assuming Quay Walker, Devondre Campbell will play in this game, which they will. So Luke Musgrave, kidney, full 
yesterday, full today. Musgrave, after the practice, stated, you know, he kind of wanted to ease himself in the last game, you know, get in there, a few snaps, catch a ball, take a hit, see how he feels. And that happened. He caught that 11 yard pass on that last drive, took a hit, said he felt great, and he said he fully expects to be himself against the Cowboys here this wild card weekend. So expect a full fledged Luke Musgrave, Tucker Craft duo for this offense. So excited for that. I'm glad we're in the playoffs and we can see that. Josh Myers, full participant yesterday and today. He's fine. John Owens, limited yesterday and today. He's been playing through that knee injury um, and has been filling in nicely at that safety spot uh, as of late. Jaden Reed, chest injury, full yesterday and full today. So really no worry for Jaden Reed at this point, man. What a rookie season by Jaden Reed. There's just been so much, you know, surprise of this offense. It definitely has been overshadowing Jaden Reed's season. Like, you know, beating Sterling Sharp's rookie receiving record in terms of receptions, I think is is outstanding, right? Jaden Reed just been awesome this year. Then we see Sean Ryan, elbow, full yesterday and today. Darnell Savage, shoulder, full yesterday and today. TJ Slayton, who played through this injury last week, limited yesterday and today, so no, you know, setback there. That's really good. We need TJ Slayton, you know, potentially stop the run up the middle with Tony Pollard. Uh, then we see Preston Smith with his ankle injury. Uh, he was kind of on the same timeline as Elton last week, but played just as Elton did. He is again limited to today as he was yesterday so that's looking good zach tom full participant yesterday and today with a finger injury that was a new addition this week doesn't look like a big concern quay walker full participant with a shoulder yesterday and today just like devondre campbell no concern there christian watson limited yesterday limited today good to see back-to-back -back limiteds it's going to be huge what we see tomorrow from christian watson if it's a limited or a full right he'll still be questionable going into this game i'm sure the packers are going to keep that close to their chest and not really give the cowboys any signs is if christian's going to play or if he's not going to play but it's all or nothing for watson right like this is a win or go home game and i know last week was too but this you know officially is the playoffs and he's been out for what five weeks now hopefully he can return in this game and you know add another ad additional spark to that offense then we have emmanuel wilson full yesterday and today then to quickly go over the dallas cowboys injury report comparing it to uh yesterday dorns armstrong was a full yesterday and today stefan gilmore did upgrade to, upgrade to limited here in today's practice where yesterday was it did not participate expect him to play in this game like stefan gilmore is not going to miss this game right jonathan hankins limited yesterday uh and to and today malik Cooker was a full participant yesterday and today with his ankle. Um, Demarcus Lawrence and Jordan Lewis were veteran rests, so they're not listed today because it was just a veteran rest yesterday. Zach Martin, uh, two veteran rest days, I guess, for him. Uh, but again, that's just a rest, so he'll obviously play in this game. Tyler Smith limited yesterday and today with a foot injury. And then Tyron Smith, also two back-to-back uh, -back veteran rest days. So that does it for the second injury report, but the first like real important one where the Packers had a full practice. And then, of course, the most important one will be tomorrow on Friday, you know, right around the same time, giving us all the game designations. I'm sure we'll have a bunch of questionable players, maybe a doubtful here or there uh, in terms of Jair or A.J. Dillon. We'll have a doubtful or out, and then there'll be a bunch of other questionable ones. But last week, we had a bunch of questionables, and I think almost every one of them played. So, um, you know, the Packers injury report is very long, but a lot of these players are practicing. Only three of them didn't practice today with, you know, Elton Jenkins, probably a rest day. A.J. Dillon wasn't a surprise. Only real surprise here and, 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 you know, negative from yesterday is that Jair, you know, suffered an ankle injury. So we're something we're going to have to monitor going forward. But that about does it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming by. Super excited for this game here on Sunday, but I'll catch you on the next one. And as always, go back, go.